is a trick that <clears throat> I think is a pretty cool little trick that a lot of people don't know how to do. Um, if you've got a, um, a site in Google Earth and you're trying to build um, a georeference PDF image in TVC and you want to match the two together, one of the ways you can do that is if you go into Google Earth and just search for the location. So I'm looking for this place called Morrison, Morrison Farms in Ohio. And this is the subdivision project that we've got the plans for. And it's already built, but let's say that we're building a phase out here and we've got some information in the plans that is at the edge of the existing uh, subdivision. And we can use those for georeferencing the site. As long as we can find two points in Google Earth that match up with two points in the plans, we can georeference accordingly. And the way to do that is if you go into Google Earth, find the location and use the ruler function, then you can come in here and you can pick up two locations that you can find in the plan. So I'm going to use this point down here at the corner here. And I'm going to come up here and find this point at this corner as well. And just snap to those locations. That creates your baseline in here. And I'm going to save that and I'm just going to call it GeoReference Baseline. And once you've done that, you can say OK. And that appears up in your tree view in Google Earth and you can right click here and then you can say save place as and then you can browse somewhere on your on your computer and give it a name. I'm just going to call this GRF baseline dash mo farms and say save. And that's all you need to do in Google Earth. And that now sets up a baseline in Google Earth that's in the right place in the world. Now we go back into TVC and we need to do a couple of things in TVC. So the first thing is you need to do is set up the coordinate system for the project. So we're going to go into here. We know this project is in Ohio and in Ohio North. So I'm going to say change coordinate system. And in here I'm going to pick Ohio North and say finish. And at that point now we've set the coordinate system up here. And then the next thing you need to do is go find your desktop. And in that desktop you want to find the file that you've just created, the KMZ file, and drag and drop that into TVC. That baseline is now in the right coordinates in the Ohio North coordinate system and now we can use that to georeference our plan. So the next thing is we're going to go to PDF Manager. So I'm going to go into the modeling menu and pick up PDF Manager. And in PDF Manager we now can go into here and say we want to pick up the approved storm plan. And in here we're going to pick page 8. And let's just synchronize that so we can see it. And in here we want to just check the scale of that sheet just so that we can place it at the right scale. So this is 1 inch equals 50 feet. So what I'm going to do here is just go into the page 8 and just change the scale here to be 50. And at that point I can say close. I'll just tab out of there and hit close. And now I want to bring in page 8 and it will draw it down below the baseline at the right scale. That's the first thing. You don't have to worry about rescaling it or using the scale bar because I've already defined that now. And now what I want to do is I want to use our multi-point function and we just pick the two same locations for that baseline. So the first point is down here and the real world location is at the end of that baseline. And then we want to pick the second point which is right here and that one is at the other end of the baseline. And then at that point now we can put a clipping boundary around our drawing. So again I'm just going to eyeball the bottom end and then just come up here and just snap into that point. And it gets me there and then I'm going to hit georeference page. And that's now georeference the image to that baseline that we started off with. Now it didn't rescale it, it just used the positions to calculate the best fit of position and orientation. And at that point now, if we now turn on our background image in TBC, there's your street map coming up. But if we just go up to the top here and change this to satellite imagery. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to go into my image for my PDF file. I'm just going to set the transparency to be 50%. So we can see through it and you can see that the uh, PDF file lines up perfectly with the road on here. Obviously they made some changes to the model. The houses aren't all the same size as the building pads and uh, the curb, um, the sidewalk lines. You can see the sidewalk or right away line doesn't exactly follow the edge of the road here. Um, maybe that's a slight baseline error. It's possible. You can see our baseline 
is matching up at that point and is matching up at that point so those match up but by following those two points we end up with that. Now if you wanted to do more points in your georeference you could measure two or three baselines and get the ends of various lines <coughs> and then use those to do a best fit of the data um, to your model. Um, in this case I just used the two points so we live with anything but on here you can see in, to a large extent your PDF file is now perfectly matched up with Google Earth and now whenever we publish any other information like if we publish the PDF file or we publish cut fill maps or we publish other information they will all sit over the top of Google Earth nicely. Okay, thanks.